Hello, Burn Brighters, and welcome to Burn Bright Today show, episode number five. What the bleep happened to my career? <laughs> So I'm glad you're here. We're going to be talking today about some of the changes that are going on, what we're all facing, and actually what an incredible opportunity this is now more than ever to make some incredible changes in our lives. So perhaps you're one of the burn brighters out there who may have lost your job, or you're experiencing a major shift or a major uh, change in your career. And if so, you are not alone. This is a big part of the spiritual awakening that's been going on and that is going on and that will continue. So we're gonna talk about that today. And we're going to talk about, provide a little bit of context of why this is happening. And mostly let's talk about what you can do to get your new career up and going and enjoy an income that truly meets all of your needs. So, probably you're not alone in feeling like this, but the universe is actually, it's like this major epiphany that's going on related to our careers and related to how we manifest and related to how we make money. And by the term epiphany, that often means right up in front of our face, epiphany. And it's as if, you know, mirror, mirror on the wall, the universe is holding up this giant mirror for us to look at ourselves and take a serious look at different aspects of our life. One of which is our careers and how we make money. So as you've been hearing me talk about for the last 16, 18 months, there's this major spiritual awakening going on right now. We're all waking up to increasingly new levels. And one of which is, of course, how we make money. So if you're, regardless of how you're feeling right now in this time and space, you may be experiencing some anger, some fear, worry, or self-doubt, it's okay. It's actually a time to embrace it. And this is a time to look at what's going on in our life that we need to change and what we need to do to correct it. So a part of that is we're going to be manifesting major changes in our lives. And in the next 10 years, when we get from 2020 to 20, 10 years out from now, we're going to look back and we're going to say, how the bleep did I ever live like that? <laughs> so I know confessions of a holistic nurse, pot calling the kettle black. I've been there. I've come from the major high powered climbing the corporate ladder up to senior leadership to now being and having my own energy medicine practice and working in the healing arts and having the honor and privilege of serving as an energy healer. And now I look back on my former life and I have absolutely no idea how I did it for so long or why I did it for so long. So I'm really glad that I've made all of these changes because life is so much better in so many ways. And one of those is about how we are, how we make money and how we'll be making money in the future. It's very different now. So probably you've experiencing lots of changes in your lives right now around your career. And you're kind of looking around going, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Toto. And that's because we're not. And we're, uh, we're not in Kansas anymore and we're not going back to Kansas either. So we're moving away from many things, moving to move into freedom. We have to move away from things that limited us or basically had us in slavery, if you will. And one of which is we're no longer going to be relying on others to provide us with our security. And if you haven't already seen this, it'll be manifesting in our lives in ever increasing ways. But part of what we're doing in this 2020, or and you've heard me talk about two, the, the, the number two, us and you know the self and the divine coming together, this is a major paradigm shift. Because when we truly have to, to look within and come into our center and get centered with ourself and connect with the divine, this is when we realize that we already have everything that we need. 
And this is an adventure of a lifetime. It's not easy. It's a huge challenge. I know I've been there. <laughs> but uh, luckily for those of us who have been through this journey and made this change, um, you have folks that can help you and coach you through this major paradigm shift. What we're going through is major. The Grand Stellium on January 12th is in full swing. And we are in this major paradigm shift. And again, we are not going back to Kansas. And lucky that we're not, because we're actually being liberated. We're being liberated from being controlled by unseen forces that we may not have been able to even see or experience. And you've been following me long enough to know what I've been through in the last couple of years. And you've heard me talk about changes in my relationships that as I've made changes in my life, for example, when I went off of caffeine and sugar and my vision started opening up, I began seeing clearly how unhappy I was in my life and major changes that I had to make with um, my marriage even. Um, we're going to see this in every aspect as we move through 2020 and in through the next 10 years. So I know it sounds a little shaky and a little rocky, but having been there, it's okay and the new life is so much better. And as we say in Texas, it just keeps getting better. <laughs> we just have to stay the course and make these changes. Um, so we're, we're being liberated. We're moving away from things that have held us back from being who we truly are, connecting with the divine and using our creative abilities. And one of which is, we're now being given the opportunity to examine and see and liberate ourselves from the personal or professional agendas that others have placed onto us and that we've accepted as our own. And we're also, as a society, moving away from the top-down paternalistic, there's only one way to do things, my way or the highway, thou shalt do it this way. We're moving away from that because although that had its time and space, where we're moving to with this spiritual awakening and with freedom, the spiritual freedom that we're all gaining right now is that we're moving back to using our own divine creative abilities in any way that that might present itself for you. It could be small, it could be large. But uh, our creative abilities are our divine birthright and using our creative abilities can really truly bring us happiness. What we are designed to do, not what somebody else wants for us, for someone else's purpose, whatever that may be. And I'll, you all know, I told you a little bit about how I came into moving first as a, an emergency department and critical care nurse in through that 20 years of corporate sales executive, being rapidly promoted up into senior leadership to being one of the first, uh, what, six members of a commercial team to launch an, an entire startup company until I began to segue away from corporate America and build my own company and then segue into building my own company and working for myself full time, which as you know that I do now with Burn Bright today. So I'll talk a little bit about what that looked like and I'll paint a little picture for you because it's the same what I see with my clients when they start realizing that, okay, now that we're being liberated, we're starting to awaken to our purpose, why we came here, and what our personal life's work or our personal mission is. So we're going to go into that. But before we do, I just have got to bust a myth. You know me, the original myth buster, right? But one of the things I feel very strongly about and I live my life by is that what we're going through moving to right now, we are moving away from the ways of manifestations that were very selfish and got complicated in a hurry, right? And you know what I'm going to say here, I am not a fan of the law of attraction. And I am not a fan of The Secret, the book or the movie. Not a fan. I watched the movie, read the book. I've met some of those folks. I had the opportunity to spend time with them. They are phenomenal, wonderful, well-intentioned people. But for me and what I've seen and in my experiences and in my personal experience coming up through this is that 
the way that the law of attraction was presented in the last many years is that it was very self-centered and very focused. And yes, the law of attraction actually works. It absolutely does, but it ignores many of the other spiritual laws. And I'm not comfortable with that because if there's a universal law working in the background, I want to know about it. We covered this on Facebook Live on Friday. So one of the big things uh, we're moving away from, or if we are going to work with the law of attraction, number one, we need to learn and work with the other universal laws in harmony as well. But we also really will be learning and learning to embrace, and this is something I coach my clients on in, in my Manifest Your Destiny uh, package, is to really make the shift to setting the goal, whatever your goal is, for the greater good of all concerned. Because when our personal goals, our career or our job or our projects are set with the qualifier for the greater good of all concerned, it helps align us with the universe. And it helps the divine and all of the other things that it can, resources that can come in support us, that supports not only us, but supports others that are involved with it in a very uplifting and healthy way. Because as everyone right now is very well aware, there is a huge need for positivity. And there is a huge need to uplift ourselves and by uplifting ourselves, uplifting other people. And there's a huge need and now the time is coming with the spiritual awakening. You're probably seeing it as you're awakening. If you're watching this episode, then you're in your spiritual awakening or we wouldn't be talking. And as we spiritually awaken and get on with our life's mission, it helps those around us awaken and helps them awaken to their mission too. So we're going to talk a little bit about that because with this spiritual awakening, we're becoming much more cognizant, much more aware that we have all incarnated, you know, we are all spiritual beings incarnated at, at this time in a physical body having a human experience. And each of us have come here with a, a divine purpose, our life's mission, if you will. I call it my mission. And we have an instruction code to help us with this because as we incarnated, the instruction manual, if you will, of what we're here to do is actually stored in our earth star chakra in the earth below our feet. We're gonna get into that here in a bit. But now is just a time for us to raise our awareness if, of why we've come here and what we should be doing because now more than ever it's all hands on deck for all of us as soul as the divine being that we are to wake up and really do our part and when each person does our part the universe works it just becomes a happier place a joyful place we still have our challenges but we're so much better able to meet whatever life brings to us in a joyful and uplifting manner, not just for us, but for everyone around us and for the greater good of all concerned. So perhaps you're now going through your various stages of this, perhaps maybe you've lost your job or your job has had a major change or you're really starting to awaken to the fact of I can no longer do what I used, I once did. I've lost my job and I'm not going back. I have many clients who have just said this to me within the last two months where their job has ended in some way, either they were laid off, the project ended or what have you. And they have said, I am so glad. I, I actually was miserable in that job. I hated what I was doing and I'm never going back. And I'm so glad that this happened because it's forcing me to go on and do what I really have always wanted to do. This may apply to you, you know, or you may be in the phase where you feel like Kevin Costner in the field of dreams. And I'll just share a little bit of my personal story. You know, if, if this is new to you, that's exactly what has happened to me and what brought me into where I am today with 
the Burn Bright Today franchise having a full-time energy medicine practice with local, national, international, and corporate clientele, including pets. I was in corporate America, as you know, and I literally was getting the call to through, through the burnout and through my journey of healing to not only work with the diamond therapy and gemstone therapy to heal myself, but there became this inside voice really pushing me that not I now have to go back and provide this for other people. Because what, through my own personal experience and my own near tragedy, my health, my healing crisis that you're aware of, and my own healing journey to where I am today, diamond and gemstone therapy were the key part that really my healing took off like a rocket ship once I found diamond and gemstone therapy. So just like Kevin Costner was hearing the booming voice, if you will build it, they will come. And he's got this voice telling him unavoidable. He can't get away with it. He's got to go out, meet all of these people, build the, you know, clear the property, build a baseball diamond, put up the lights, bring in the people, all of this that he has to do. It was not optional. And it was the same for me. And this is one of the signs that you're on a mission. And we'll talk about that. But it's absolutely something, a time for all of us to awaken to our own version of a Kevin Costner in the field of dreams. So how do you know if God is calling you to your mission? How do you know if you feel like Kevin Costner in the field of dreams? So let's have a little fun with this. And let's talk about five signs you might be on your mission if, okay? First sign, what used to work really, really well for you doesn't work anymore. And for me, this is what this looked like. I had a brilliant sales career for 20 years. I overachieved quota. Every incentive prize that I was eligible for, I won President's Club every year that I was eligible. And then I went on to do a startup company to get the experience so I could build my own. And what happened over time is over time, my career, things started not working is the way that they used to. And that was as I was building Burn Bright Today, as I was getting my certifications and as I began starting started working with clientele and started taking on clientele. And the more that I moved into my mission, building, finishing the book, getting the book published and building up my clientele, expanding my certifications, the more that my old career would not work no matter what I did. And I was one heck of a sales rep. And at the end, it felt as if I could not sell my way out of a paper bag and I was darn good at it. And suddenly I couldn't do it anymore. I could hardly close a sale to save my life. I went in an, an entire year without a commission check. It was really crazy because what was happening is the universe was moving me. The divine was moving me off of my previous brilliant career that, that served me so well and onto my life's mission. So what happened two and a half years ago is it became time for me to segue out of corporate sales and into full time into Burn Bright Today so I could launch this franchise that we have available to you now. So number five, what used, uh, number one out of five, what used to work really well, no longer does. So number two, you might be on a personal mission if there is something inside of you that you absolutely have to go do. You've got a voice inside of you saying, if you build it, they will come. Or you're studying some unusual esoteric, or you're studying something you've always wanted to study and it may not make any sense. So number two, there is something inside of you that you absolutely must go and do. Okay, number three, you might be on your mission if you have a vision of what you're supposed to be doing, 
but you're the only one who can see it. And others may not understand you at all. You may be coming up against some significant resistance. You may have a partner or family members or friends or colleagues who they, they cannot see your vision, they cannot get it. Like the brother in Field of Dreams, they can't get it. And they may even try to hold you back. But don't worry about it because they don't mean to. It's not intentional. It's just that every person is scheduled to awaken in their own time. So it's okay if you have to separate yourself from some of those folks in your previous life to go on and get working on your mission. Number four, you might be on your personal mission if you have absolutely no idea how you're gonna get it done, how you're gonna make it happen, how you're gonna pay for it. You just know that you have to do it and it's non-negotiable. So number five, you might be on your personal mission if this is absolutely not optional. You have a passion. It is something you have lived in your own life that has brought you tremendous benefit, that has uplifted you, and that when you bring out your gift or your service or your product, it will uplift others around you. And it is not optional. And I'm just here to encourage you that you are not crazy. But, well, you might be. You, you might be crazy because I'm crazy, okay? <laughs> I'm crazy. In fact, I'm absolutely certifiable. But not about this. I am not crazy about my mission, okay? And you aren't either, even if it feels like it in a, in a big way. So let's talk about a couple of things you need to know. What if you are in the spot right now where you, things are no longer working and you know there is something you're supposed to be doing, but I have no idea what it is. And I have often have clients who come to me that work with me with the Manifest Your Destiny package, that this is what they say. It's like, I know I'm supposed to be doing more. I know I came here to do something, but I don't know what it is. So if you feel stuck, if you're in that spot right now, let's talk about that. Because if you feel stuck, you know that there's something that you're supposed to go do, but you're in the early stages. The number one thing that I would recommend as an energy medicine practitioner for you is to make sure that your energetic anatomy is intact and working correctly, especially these three things. So to move forward in life and to get on with your mission or with any type of a project, number one, your aura must be turning. The aura turns, it surrounds your physical body almost like the jet stream surrounds earth, okay? And it turns. The aura should turn one direction or the other, either mine turns right to left, it doesn't matter which direction, if it's right to left or left to right, it just matters that it turns. But it should be turning in a slow, steady rate. But what happens, when we get into fear or anxiety or we've had many, many setbacks, our aura freezes and it stops turning. Stop it. Get your toy. Get your toy. Or number two, your chakras need to be the right shape, the right length, and they need to be functioning correctly like they are here in the illustration. They need to be funnel shaped and turning and moving all the way out to the, the outer aspects of your aura. And because if they're not functioning correctly, it can be very, very difficult to move forward. We'll talk about that here in a bit. And number three, the third thing you need to have checked is to make sure that you're completely connected to your earth star chakra. And it's here in the illustration. The earth star chakra starts below your feet and goes deep into the earth. And the earth star chakra is really important. So if you are stuck and having trouble moving forward, please check these three things. I recommend that you check these three things for yourself. Your aura needs to be turning, your chakras need to be the right shape, the right length, and they need to be functioning correctly. And number three, you need to be completely connected to your earth star chakra. 
this is the first three things that I check with all of my clients. Because in order to move forward, the chakras, our energetic anatomy has to be working correctly. And the chakras have to go all the way out to the edge of our aura. Because if they're flat, like you see in the illustration here, sometimes when we get, if we get taken really aback, like we are on a project at work and we just keep getting, getting stopped. Everything keeps, keep, something's happening and we just, it's like hitting a brick wall or hitting your head against the wall. The chakras themselves can become flat. Any or all of them can be. And anytime any of the chakras are flat, it makes it extremely difficult to move forward in life with anything. And each chakra has a different mission. And if each chakra is flat, it can give us a different symptom, okay? So number one, make sure those chakras are absolutely correct and moving forward. Then, regard, then that way, when you set your goals, you can actually move forward with them energetically. One of the classic signs that you've got a chakra, let's just say a flat chakra, is that you've set your goals. You know, you're a professional, you're good at this, right? You've set your goals, you've made your plans, and you're trying to get the project started, but no matter what you do to move forward, it's like, bam, you hit a wall. This can be a career, this can be an exercise routine, this can be anything. Classic, classic sign that your, your chakras need to be repaired. So let's talk about the Earth Star Chakra, okay? And you can take a peek at the illustration here. It begins below the feet and goes deep into the earth. It is a very important chakra for many reasons. But one of the biggest reasons it's so important is that it can it's, it's our connection to Mother Earth, right? We're human beings. We have to be connected to Mother Earth. This is our home. And Earth is a living, breathing being with consciousness. We have to be connected. And connection into our, our Earth Star Chakra does a couple of things. Number one, it connects us to the plan. When we incarnated, we came here with a plan, our mission. Let's call it an instruction book, which is located in the Earth Star Chakra. And once we're reconnected deeply with the Earth Star Chakra, the information stored within the Earth Star Chakra can come up into our physical body and into our energy field where we can use that data to guide our lives. So across the board, I have had many clients that were loosely connected. I have been a couple clients who were completely disconnected and they have very serious symptoms with that. But if we don't have a deep, firm connection, if our feet, our, our connection isn't deep into our Earth Star Chakra, we can feel disconnected, we can feel like we don't belong, or we can feel like we know we're supposed to be doing something, but we don't know what. We're not connected to the instruction book that we brought. And I can say this, that every client that I've worked with, where in Diamond Therapy, we've, we've made that connection to the Earth Star Chakra, it's been a significant life-changing event for every single one of my clients. And it's just that important that we're deeply grounded and that we have our instruction booklet so that the rest of our anatomy can come into line and work as well. Can't stress that enough. So let's talk about why it's so important and why I stress this so much of the importance of caring for your energetic anatomy. And that's because it is, if we, our energetic anatomy is a part of who we are. We are multidimensional beings and we have a multidimensional energy field that requires care, repair, and nourishment just the way our physical body does. And if our energetic anatomy is not working properly, it is not a matter of mind over matter. If we're trying to set our goals and go on our mission, our, our life's purpose, and our energetic anatomy is not in shape, we're not in sync, we can't move forward. And there's no amount of trying to push your mind through it that's going to allow you to do that. Part of the reason is the Piscean age has ended. We've learned a lot, especially in the last 10 years, about how to use our mind and how we shouldn't. And when we should push through, put our mind to it, and what the mind should actually be doing working as a tool. Because 
we can mentally power through things and we may have some success with that. But mentally powering through things using our mind can get complicated in a hurry. That if we, we begin pushing our agenda, we're out of sync with the natural rhythm, we're out of sync with the universe, we're out of sync with God, we're out of sync with our core values and our divinity, and we're pushing on people things and to go into our, our time frame and how we want to do it, that creates karma. And it gets really complicated in a hurry. And now that we're moving into the Aquarian age, anything that we put out there boomerangs back even faster than it's ever been. So as you know, you've heard me talk about March 23rd, Saturn moved into Aquarius. This is the beginning of the Aquarian age where science meets spirituality. And we've got this holistic healing revolution going on. So we're spiritually awakening. We are being held accountable for how we treat ourselves and how we treat others. We're being held accountable for how we do things in life. And it's becoming more apparent how accountable we're actually being held, right? So we're being held for the way that we do things, one of which is practicing the law of attraction. We're being held accountable for any time we set a goal that's me, 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 I want, I want, I want, now, now, now. And if we're setting that type of an intention, it's bouncing back pretty hard, okay? So that's a big part of why we now have this major opportunity, this holistic healing revolution that's going on, where we can now work with energy medicine practitioners to help help us heal our way out of this and get going on to a much healthier, happier life. Because a part of the joy and the beauty of the Aquarian age, we'll be feeling more of this even toward the end of the year when we're full blown into the Aquarian age is there's a better way. And a part of what we're seeing, and we will be seeing more as we do this, is that the more that we go into ourselves and that we connect with the divine and that we're aligned with our core values and aligned with the divine and on our mission, if you will, the more that we're using our divinely inspired creative abilities. We're creating something for the greater good of all concerned. We're taking our own life experience, what we've lived, what we have found that uplifts us, and we can now share it to uplift other people for the greater good of all concerned. And it's a speaking from experience and just sharing with you the many clients that I've worked with, with the Manifest Your Destiny package it's such an incredible way of life when you get there and when you're out doing what you were designed to do. We will always have challenges, but when you're working in that state of flow, in your passion and divinely inspired, we can better handle any challenge that life throws at us and we can have so much more fun. We can have so much more fun doing what we're here to do because we were meant to be joyful Jo soul is joyful. We were meant to come down here and enjoy our work. We just have to get through everything and get it clean and cleared and up and doing what we're here to do. So I would like to invite you, if you are perhaps, maybe it resonates with you that you're feeling stuck, or maybe you'd like a little leg up on manifesting your new career or manifesting your mission, if you will, but you're new to diamond and gemstone therapy, I would like to just warmly invite you to give it a try. This is my gift to you if you choose to take me up on it. And if you'll go click on the link, offer.burnbrighttoday.com, just click the link and register your seat and you'll receive a Zoom link. Every Friday from two to three Central Standard Time, I am gifting to anyone who would like to join a free diamond and gemstone therapy introductory basic one hour session. You'll be on the call with other people, but you'll be muted so no one can hear you. This is private, it's just for you. But you'll only be hearing me giving the session. But I'm providing a free group diamond and gemstone therapy session for anyone who would like to experience the very basics of diamond and gemstone therapy. Because I feel like, number one, there's a huge need out there. 
so many people right now are trying so hard to be able to replace their income or earn an income or make ends meet that as a practitioner, I just want to be able to serve in that way and provide it for anyone who would like to try it. And if money's tight, you're welcome to join as many of these as you wish. They'll always be free from two to three central standard time on Friday for as long as I can provide it. So my invitation to you, click on the link and reserve your spot. So in the meantime, I just like to leave you with this. You are very special. And I have a feeling that you know you are. You are a divine spiritual being. You are soul. You exist because God loves you. You are loved. You are not judged. And you came here for a very important purpose. Something that is very unique just for you. Your purpose here is unique as you are. And speaking from experience, once you get into your mission, it's an incredible way to shine your light and burn bright because your light was not meant to be hidden. You were designed to burn bright in a way that uplifts you and uplifts others around you. So until next week, take care. And burn bright, my friends. <laughs>